It's my show. Joint failures. Well, hello everyone, and welcome to Joint Failures. Hi there. We're the show that doesn't try to impress you with on-time releases or and facts and and fancy schedules and or preparation or or good content. No. Well, we're gonna try for it, right. but we don't uh, we don't uh, expect to. It's good to be back. You. It's good to be back. It is. It feels good. And I thought we'd start out. Uh, we did a quick tease at the top of the show, but why don't we just right. say um, I'm really excited. We've got uh, a quick. John's got a quick gaming rant. Yeah, I've got a quick TiVo rant. Uh-huh. Then, uh huh. Then we got to talk about this guy in Korea. He uh, married a doll. Yep. Last episode we covered a man marrying a dog. Wouldn't want to let people down. No, doll. man marries doll. Yeah. Uh, that's not even alive. People. At least the dog has a heartbeat. So when people are going like same sex marriages, what's next? People marrying animals. Then what's next? Pillows. Dolls. Yeah, pillows. We, we f- figured it out. Um, then we have a penis festival we're going to talk about. Mm-hmm. And then uh, we've got a thing versus other the thing. thing. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, it is going to be uh, Chris and John find a date. Right. We each found three dates yeah. for the other guy. Yeah, we're both married. <laughs> Happily married. But, you know, yeah. uh, when we do step out. Plan B. Right. You always got to have the plan, <laughs> plan B, B in place. And here it is. Uh, also, I like to call Thursday nights. Also, Tuesday nights, right, um, and sometimes Saturday nights. <laughs> All right, so we move in. Do you want to go in and hit? Go ahead and uh, kick off your your gaming rant. Okay, okay. So, uh, Heavy Rain is a game that had a lot of hype for it, and it was released for the PlayStation Three yeah. not too long ago. And it's it's kind of a different game. It's like it's they call it like an interactive drama. So, oh, you I've pretty heard much about this. Do things, but what's what's interesting about it is that you're you play as four different characters, and one of them can die, and the story will keep going on. It'll just adjust to it. Yeah. So, that it's, sounds kind of cool. It's supposed to be like choose your own adventure, and you can make realistic yes, impacts. In yes. Yes. Now, now here, here are my problems with it. Okay? okay. So, my first problem is is sometimes it just has you do stuff that just doesn't really matter. You don't need to do. You don't need to like. It can just open a door for me, like. If I'm in the car and there's nothing else I can do other than open the door by moving the control a certain way, just just open the door for me. That's okay. Yeah, you don't. Stuff like that. Yeah. Uh, Isn't there also a scene where you like shave for a while? Yeah, there's a shaving scene. That's just that's okay though. That's just kind of like supposed to put you you in the moment, training you to. It's it's at the beginning. Yeah, just showing you how the game works. Yeah. Um, The story is kind of interesting. It's a it's a good murder mystery. Um, to who done it? Yeah, to who done it. And so it, it's a choose your own endings. adventure where you do the different stuff. Yeah. Okay. Well, that sounds and, great. And it so can far. be it can be good or bad depending on how things work out. Like there's all like right. fight scenes which are kind of they're all like real time like button pressing things. You got to do it right. And if you sure. mess up more than a certain amount of times, you might die. So that's kind of interesting. All right. Is that done well? It's done fairly well. Yeah. Yeah. It oh, is okay. done well. Um, it's an adult game. There's lots of swearing. There's lots of violence. And one of the one of the rants I'd like to comment on is actually the nudity there is a uh, lots of nudity yeah I'm, but, I'm looking at one of the shots right here right right so yeah that's that's the girl you see naked and you see her naked quite a bit actually if if you want to um pretty much so so yeah that, that good naked um well almost good because uh geez what's that called you know where there's you're just not quite realistic oh yeah the uh the uncanny uncanny valley yeah uh, right so so it's a really good looking game but when they try and do like nudity, still their eyes are still dead. So yeah. there's like a, a sex scene, and it's like this, it's like two <laughs> dolls, <laughs> and it's just not quite right. And the face, you know, the face is a little dead, and it's so it just the seems kind of like look incredible. Though. Yeah, the graphics are great. It's, it's a fun game. Like I enjoyed the story of it, but there, like I said, there are some times where where you're just kind of doing stuff that doesn't matter. Right. And then my, my other rant, and I did get around this, um, is that it corrupts your files which, um, sometimes. And it Game did files? Me. Yeah, and what the problem with that is because, it's, weird on because it's, a, it's a linear, or it's not a linear game, it, like whatever happens, the story goes on. Right. So like, everything. Like that- if a file is corrupt, you're kind of screwed. So, oh, no. so I was like, I was pretty close to finding out who the killer was. And, uh, Shut up. And I stopped, and then. I went in and it just black screen, and I'm like, oh god, no. So I'm like, well, and what you can do is you can load different chapters. So you can load different chapters. So, so you I, had to I go had, back a whole chapter. I went back a chapter, still black screen. Oh I went no. Back, bla- back another one, still black screen. Oh no. I was looking online trying to figure out an answer for it, and I couldn't find anything. They're like, oh well, hopefully they'll release a, a patch patch for it soon. That's weird to even have so I, have happen on a console. I finally went. I know, but it's, it's saving quite a bit. 
uh, I finally went back, I think, like, maybe five chapters, and it still saved me hours and hours of time. Wow. Uh, but that worked. So then I had to replay a bunch of chapters. I found I a shot to, of I wanted the... the story with my current choices to fin- play out. Like, Are these starting some of the best graphics totally you've ever seen? They're, they're amazing graphics, I yeah. think. It's, it's really good. And it's, it's a, by a fairly new uh, game company, I believe. Like, I think it's called Quantum Dream. Hmm. So I, I like it. I'm big into story, so, so it's fun for me to just kind of see everything play out. And I, I did adjust a little bit. I actually got really far in the game with everybody still alive. Oh, and then nice. I screwed it up at the very end. And I got a medal for that called So Close. <laughs> really? <laughs> yes, yes. So, like, everybody's sad about that. Are you tempted to go back through and try it? Yeah, uh, there's things that, like, I still like to go back, back and try and, and just see other things. Now, some people complain that when you find out the killer in the game, like, it doesn't quite work. But I, I think it works well enough. I, I still enjoyed it. Hmm. So. All right. Now you want to hear my uh, TiVo rant? Not yes. really related. But, yes. Uh, so, you know, you and I, mm-hmm. uh, TiVo users for years, right. big fans. Uh, I got yeah. on board like the TiVo Series 2 generation and, mm-hmm. and I've always had one since then. you got then. for free, I believe? Um, no. No. No, I didn't. No. I did tell the wife that, though. <laughs> yes. Yes. Oh, that's it. How did she find out? Who spilled the beans? You did by, by accident. Oh, okay. All right. So my TiVo unit, you know, one of the nice things TiVo does uh, it's actually found a few shows for me mm-hmm. through the automatic suggestion system. Right. Watches what I like, uh-huh. has a rating system, and then it has automatically found some shows. Uh, Firefly. Yeah. Dead Zone. Mm-hmm. Decent shows. Firefly, incredible shows show. Shows you enjoyed, yeah. Shows I liked. Mm-hmm. Found them. Boom. Here's the thing. Okay. My younger brother, who is uh, almost six, um, came over recently. Mm-hmm. And... Um, he needed some entertainment. Right. So I fired up the old TiVo and I said, TiVo, go to the Cartoon Network and get a bunch of cartoon shows. And by a bunch, I mean four. Okay. Four cartoon shows. <laughs> right? Now what I have is a All child's cartoon? TiVo. <laughs> I literally will turn it on and have 80, I have a folder called Parent Something Group. Like it shows that it's determined parents like uh-huh. that have kids. It's family shows. Okay. And overnight there will be like 60 freaking shows in there that's or, awesome it's ridiculous you <laughs> know you just do thumbs down like a few times on some of them and yeah, the problem? yeah no you'd think so right. i've been thumbing down for two weeks <laughs> i've been thumbing that tivo like you would not effing believe and uh oh, TiVo. so all of my stuff that i like like the star treks and the stargates all the right. stuff that i wasn't bothered even setting up a season pass for because you i don't exactly them. know what channel it's right. on and i got them anyways uh-huh none of that stuff See now, no more f- good Food Network shows. <laughs> right. No more interesting History Channel stuff. Wiped no out by four cartoons. <laughs> four <laughs> cartoons. I love that. And now I want to get rid of that damn thing. You know how I got around that? Because huh. I got some nephews uh, came over that that are uh, you know around ten and eight. You had the same issue? No. Oh no, I just went to Netflix and just used Netflix to watch like Bolt and you know Addison like kids <sighs> I know, cartoons. Dude, and that's, I screwed that, uh, up. And what sucks I is. I was so in the TiVo fan club before. Like, right. I I was in love with my TiVo. I was the biggest TiVo supporter. I even went a while. I still love TiVo. I, I went a while without TV service. Still paid for the TiVo service. I didn't have TV for a while. I still, because I wanted, I was a lifetime. I was, right. I qualified for lifetime discount. I didn't want to give that up. So right. that's my TiVo rant. Okay. And I just, that's I just want to say, great, though. I just think TiVo is going down the tubes. Uh-huh. I really do. They're, they're, they bleed millions of dollars every quarter. They have got a captured market where they can do integrated advertising. They get full analytics of every mm-hmm. single thing we do on that TV, what we watch, how long we watch it, fa- fast forward, pause, rewind. Right. They, sell, they, they sell ads right in. I pay a monthly, f- well, I don't, but a lot of people pay a mm-hmm. monthly fee for their service. Their hardware is, you know, fairly expensive, but you can get it on discounts. All of this stuff, they have ads on their front page. They have ads on the in, in, interspersed in with the recordings now. All this stuff, and they're still losing millions of dollars. Screw, t- screw you, TiVo. No, 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 no. no. over. No, no, no. The just, honeymoon's over. Just because of something that just happened two weeks ago, and we'll, we'll t- take care of itself over time. I, I think you're over it. I don't think so, dude. You don't think so? I think so. I'm screwed. I think my perfect TiVo uh, setup is gone. So th- is this with your HD TiVo, or is this with your original TiVo? My HD TiVo. I don't even have my original TiVo plugged in anymore. That's sad. If it ain't HD, I don't want it. Yeah, okay. But... It's a, it really is like this massive disappointment every time I turn on, every time I turn on the TV. I'm like, really? 60 more shows? Really? 80 more? What the hell? Well, it's like, only you know what? Maybe hey, Gabba Gabba isn't so bad. Well, I don't, no. I'm literally like, how the hell is there enough time in a 24-hour period for this many recordings to show up? 
Where the hell are I? It's got two tuners. Look at record two at one, yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, it's unbelievable. It's un... So all it's getting, unless I have something specifically scheduled, like Lost, uh-huh. it's recording... Then it is every other single second of the day filling the hard drive. Um, start, now it's deleting some of my own shows. Like, <laughs> Beer is Tasty is on TiVo, and I have it automatically downloaded so I can see what it looks like on TV. Right. It's now auto-deleting my own shows. Literally, my own shows are being deleted from TiVo, so it can record like here's some ancient episode of Andy Griffith. Uh, it, uh, okay, okay. So, I, I, I love. It. Here's how great TiVo is for me. Okay, All I got right. a TiVo. I was in, I was, I was in a David Cross stand-up special, just like in the audience. Sure. And uh, so and you want to record it's, that? It's, so whenever they show an audience laughing, it's it's me and my friend. Nice. And TiVo. Genius that it is has recorded that stand-up special, just that stand-up special for me somehow. Right? So, doesn't I've never sent Tivo pictures of myself. Right. Probably six or I've seven times. I've never sent Tivo pictures of myself. Yeah, I don't know how it works. Yeah, I mean, I, 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 I'm with you, dude. Usually, I was like, no, no, the Tivo, the Tivo suggest system works. You just have to massage it. But what mm-hmm. happens is, if you don't put any data into it, see, I haven't been thumbing up or thumbing down. I'm not a big thumber anymore. I used to really be into thumbing. I'm right. not into thumbing anymore. Well, and that's it. That's your problem. Just thumb a little bit more. I don't want to thumb. It was working. I just want to be able to thumb down now and have it all better. Maybe your brother just like thumbed a little bit with some like on the thing. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe, Maybe, Maybe he when I wasn't like, looking, he was thumbing and I didn't know it. I, it's possible. Maybe he's just like, you know what's super great? Sesame Street. Thumb, yeah. thumb, thumb. <laughs> oh, a thumb, big bird. All right. Should we move on to this man who married a body pillow? Please. Now, before everybody jumps to conclusion, remember, true love is found in all shapes and forms. Right, right. Uh, and second of all, body pillows don't complain about anything. Right. So check this guy out. This guy is from Korea. And right. uh, he he basically put it, his uh, balls on the table and said, you know what? I love me and my pillow. Uh-huh. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and marry it. And that's there what this go. guy did. So we covered the, do- the guy that married his dog. And this is a little different. So this guy is... Uh, He's 28 years old, and right. uh, he has a full-sized girlfriend. He has been known for this to be his girlfriend. Like, his yeah. friends and family have called this his girlfriend. Uh-huh. So this is, like, something that he's been doing for years. Like, they've been a long-term couple. How are, don't you want to say goodbye to my girlfriend? You guys want to come over for dinner? Pillow's making something tasty. It's feathers. <laughs> no, I don't know. You know? <laughs> it's not ready yet, Pillow. <laughs> oh, we'll just have to order pizza yeah. again. Um <laughs> uh, I think it's hilarious that we get hung up here in the United States of the America right. over where uh, we live, over two beautiful women marrying each other, right, and having beautiful married things happening uh-huh. in their bedroom, right. But when a man wants to marry a pillow, not, beautiful. not a big deal. It's not like you can't hump a pillow, Chris. Well, I know. <laughs> you know, I'm sure. I mean, I know. I know. Right? right. Uh, so the story is also reminiscent of uh, something that happened last year uh, for another guy who married a character in Korea on his Nintendo DS. That's Nintendo DS is a dating game. Right. And there's a guy who married that character. Who fell in so love. So apparently in Korea, you marry anything you want. Uh-huh. So it's for the tax break. Kind of makes but me want to go to Korea here, a little bit. Here's, here's the problem with that, though. Like, this is my laptop. Like, I love it. DS, there's yeah. lots of games. Yeah. So, like, if someone else is playing that game, did you just beat them up? Like, how does that work? Right. <laughs> Leave my wife alone! And is the association with just the character, so you could put it on any DS? Or does it have to be with a specific DS? And then what happens when the battery wears out on that DS? Right. I want to see the paperwork for that marriage. That's yeah. what I want to say. That's got to be a complicated arrangement. Yeah. Now, uh, moving along, one of the things that we thought was important to cover is joint yes. failures is seen across the world. Right, right. Everywhere you can be, you can watch joint failures. Mm-hmm. Um, People ex- don't. No. They don't watch it here. No, I was going to say, no, except right. for they don't, but they right. could. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The yeah. option is there. Uh, but we wanted to give a shout out while we're talking about, we were talking about friends over in Korea. Let's talk about our friends in Japan. Japan. Okay. And uh, Japan, there's a little area in Japan. John, you remember the name of this town? I think it's uh, Kimo- Kimacho. Yeah, it sounds like, like a Nintendo character. Yeah. I don't really recall. Anyways, uh, so Japan, in this Kamato Nintendo Kimato. city, has a uh, annual penis and vagina festival. Mm-hmm. And the Penis and Vagina Festival is really about celebrating all things penis. Um, really, it's to promote health and uh, fertility, right. and uh, it's, it's a proud tradition that the uh, Japanese people have where uh, they carve wood penises, right? and they have parades, 
Yeah, so they, this is something that I personally have been doing at home oh. and didn't realize that there was a festival for. You know, I have a uh, penis shrine. Um, it's actually just on the other side of the camera there. Right. And uh, I, I, I've done it for good health. Right. I've I have it's a child. Relaxing. I have a child, so yeah. it must work. Uh, you can also get uh, you can get uh, penis popsicles if you would like a penis popsicle during the thing. It's just like one big bachelorette party that nobody wants to go to. Right. Uh, they'll share the penis popsicles with you, um, and that's really great. So if you are interested in the penis festival, I'll mm-hmm. put a link in the show notes here for yeah. you. So you can go next spring. Yeah. It's uh it's a um two hundred and eighty dollar monthly um. Two hundred eighty dollar exhibition fee. So if you have like uh, your own penis art, right, or penis, so plan ahead. If you've got penis sculptures, you want to integrate into this festival. I got to imagine the marketing potential because that's a locked in market. If you're selling penis and vagina related merchandise, everybody who wants that is going to come to that festival. The festival is all about. Unfortunately, there's not penis and vagina festivals everywhere. Right. So So. you're welcome for watching (laughs) Joint Failures, finding out where now you can go sell your penis merchandise. Right. Right. I like it. I got to imagine. Do you suppose people go home and just get laid after this? Or do you suppose people go home and don't touch each other? Like, I'm going to guess don't out? touch each other. You're like, you know what I'm sick of? Penis. Yeah. Like, yeah. Well, that's what I've always wondered like about um, gynecologists. Like, you know, you've heard the cliche thing like, oh, I, oh I'm, a co- I'm a barista. I make coffee all day. I go home. The last thing I want to do is have coffee. Mm. Or mine is, oh, man, I work on computers all day long. The last thing I want to go do is go home and troubleshoot a computer problem. Right. So I totally avoid computers when I go home, uh-huh. except for just playing on them. Right. Um, obviously, I'm using computers right now, and I'm at home. The penis festival could be that whole thing. Oh man, I just dealt with all of these penises this all day long, and now I don't want to touch a penis. So God, I'm wondering, I've touched so many penises today. <laughs> and and check this out. Here's the correlation. Are you ready for this? Right. Yes. Uh, Japan, way 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 down in baby output. They are crapping out far less kids these days. So you're, you're blaming it all. You're not blaming it on the economy. No, no, no. Or, or, or the shipping gender. Just the penis and vagina festival. Well, you know, it's the only thing that makes sense because right. uh, economies come and go. Uh-huh. Penis festivals, though, this is a long running tradition. Um, it's uh, They have something in here. I think it's several hundred years old. They've been doing this for several hundred years. Good, so. good. And I just found out about it now. Oh, check this out. Uh, so, uh, Children will carry the small vaginas into the uh, shrine, uh, but uh, the older gentlemen will carry the heavy objects. Like later, for example, in the festival, uh, 40 grown men were straining under the weight of a massive vagina while carrying it to the shrine. <laughs> they followed you pull out your bag, Peter. <laughs> they were followed by the children who were carrying the smaller vaginas <laughs> into the shrine. So, so like one day, I'm going to be... <laughs> Can you imagine, <laughs> yeah. hey boss, it's uh, it's Joe. Uh, I uh, can't come in today. I hurt my back over the weekend in the penis festival. I uh, was carrying that big block of wood penis and uh, can't get out of bed now. Remember that penis I was hauling? Yeah. Yeah, $40,000 back surgery. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, apparently um, about 100,000 Japanese tourists show up to this festival. 100,000? So it's a big happening event, dude. <laughs> it's pretty big, yeah. Uh, so, you know, I don't so know. So $280 doesn't really sound like much, does it? No, to get your stuff in like that? Yeah. Are you kidding? No, I'd totally be gone for it. <laughs> now, uh, the Global Just Post... Have a booth with, like, a curtain. <laughs> <laughs> why, why have no, a fake just one? just me in here. Yeah. <laughs> this is a real one. Uh, so anyways, uh, if you want to read all about uh, the Penis Festival, then you can head over to um, global sp- globalpost.com or find right. our show notes over at Jupiter Broadcasting. If anybody We're, has been, please please let us know. We would love if to know. Go, if someone who's like maybe has a trip planned to Japan this year and really likes penises or vaginas. Yeah, we would like yeah. to get your report on uh, <laughs> on the on the penis festival. Uh, we could have an exclusive right here at Joint Failures at JupiterBroadcasting.com. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So we've covered that stuff. Was there anything else we wanted to cover uh, or do you think it's time? I think it's time to find some dates. All right. It's time for Chris and John right. find a date. Now, up first, I thought, uh, let's start here with the dates that John found for okay. me. Okay. So, uh, <clears throat> I have not seen these yet. Why don't we switch? Why don't we rotate? We both done three dates for each other. All right. All right. Uh, we'll, uh, we'll do your first date first. Okay. Uh, do you want to read it or should I read my own? You can date? read it. I think you should read all your right. own and let all me right. know what you feel about it. <laughs> God. Well, here's the entire Craigslist post. Uh, okay. We should say we found these on Craigslist. Right. Uh, this is a CD for couple this Friday. What's CD? Um, it's, uh, I don't know. Cross well, here, crossdresser. Oh, Cross- crossdresser. Okay. Well, here's what she says. Uh, I love LUV dressing up in a sexy lingerie, 
looking for safe, clean fun with couple this weekend. I'm six feet, one inches, 180, and well hung. <laughs> you bastard, that's a dude. Oh, what? That's a dude. Non-passable. You asshole. Oh, so it means it doesn't even look like a girl. Sorry. Uh, I did guess you I didn't find this in the transvestite section? <laughs> did you find this in the transvestite Maybe section? Maybe I misclicked on something. I'm not sure, Chris. <laughs> All right, so uh, I guess if I ever feel like going freaky with a transvestite, I've now, now, I now, now you have your link. All right, should we find your first date yeah, let's, for let's uh, Plan B? We haven't seen these prior. Now, <clears throat> I, all of mine, because I wanted to be practical here. Right. All of mine are local. Okay. In Seattle. Right. Uh, John went outside Washington State, but then I, yeah, I reassured him that, you know, if I'm looking for a good time, I can travel. Right. I, I, I got means. Okay. You know? so that's, okay. That's what I thought. And, you know, they say don't poop where you live, right? So if you're going to be true. stepping out since you that's are point. happily married. And I've also heard it doesn't count outside area codes, right. zip codes, et cetera, uh-huh. et cetera. Or if someone's now, not home. I took a very... Um, um, caring approach with my date for you. Well, thank you. Uh, I figured, you know, um, as long as I've known you, you've never dated someone that was considerably older than you. That's true, technically. So I thought maybe it's time you get a little experience under your belt and you have uh, a nice old lady show you have to have a good time. But the key thing with these older gals yeah. is you want to make sure they got the energy. Yeah. You don't want them falling asleep in the sack because you know I how boring you are in the sack. Yes, yes. That is a danger. I'm um, just going to lay here. Plus, this gal tells me right here that your bank account is of no interest to her. Good. Uh, or what you do for a living. She has, she, she does not care. She's 59 years of age, lives in Bellingham, Washington. Okay. And she That's wants where my you. met. She, well, you see. Perfect. You see here? She wants you, John, mm-hmm. to know what 59 years of age looks like okay. in her house. Bam. Bam, bam. Yeah, am I right? Yeah. She looks like a nice gal. <laughs> she does look She like wants nice to take you out. Fun loving. And you know what? She probably has a few cats at her house. She says her photos were taken in 2009. Recent enough. That might explain why she right. looks like a cat. Perhaps Halloween. Yeah. Maybe. Or maybe that's the November picture. We have no way okay. of knowing. And as long as you want to play nice, this nice 59-year-old gal is going to hook you up. Okay. All right. See what I did there for you? See how caring yeah. I was? That's- I'm interested. All right, let's see what the next date. Now, I'm thinking this one's going to be a good one. Let's see what the next date. This is a real one. All right. Now, this is also uh, out of New York, right? Or yeah, is, yeah. I went to New, New, York? New, York, yeah. New York, New Jersey, yeah. All right, so this is a casual NSA relationship. I'm not sure mm-hmm. what the NSA has to do with this. No uh, strings attached. No str- Oh, well, look at you knowing the Craigslist lingo. I just figured it out. Look at you. So she's 25 years of age. That's a plus. Mm-hmm. Uh, she says, hello there, first of all. I have never done anything like this before. No. Of course you haven't. Neither <laughs> have we. Uh, yeah, she's not uh, She's not 100% honest. She's looking uh, picky person, blah, blah, blah. 5'7". Okay, not bad. Uh, please don't send me your cock picture. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, wait, I didn't see Let that part. Let me scratch that off the list. <laughs> I uh, that part. <laughs> <laughs> Tall looking and in good shape. Uh, that's what she is. Uh, but she doesn't want to see her cock because it's not important. I told you before, she's looking for a hot man to hook up. Let's mm-hmm. see, ladies and gentlemen. The survey <laughs> says, let's, let's reveal and... Whoa, which one is she? <laughs> she's the one on the right. Really? She has some friends, yeah. Oh, man, good find there, John. No problem, no problem. So I wasn't really sure what you were into. So you have the transvestite that's not passable. Right. See, the problem is if this one's not impressed with my cock size, what else do I got? Because I got nothing. She, just, she doesn't care about your cock size. I know, that's my problem. She just wants to hook up. If I can't get in the door with the cock size, I got nothing, John. I got nothing. What else am I bringing to the table? Here's writer, can I please, yeah. I know you said no, but can I, know, I please I know, send yeah. you a picture of my cock? By the way, it's attached. <laughs> Embedded in the <laughs> HTML email. All right. <clears throat> Just make it like in the background of your font. All right, so now I got to plan a date, uh, a trip to New York because right, that right. one's not bad. All right, should we pick uh, your next one here? Yeah. All right, so this next one here, uh, this was a serious one too. I okay. really, I really felt pretty strongly about this one. Okay. Uh, now this one, this gal. <laughs> well, so let's start with the description. Chunky Chunky monkey, monkey. But twenty-three years old, and remember, these are all local. Right, right local, so local. You, beggars can't be choosers because you don't got to right. travel far. Maybe she just really likes Ben and Jerry's ice cream. I mean, <laughs> that not- gal. That gal was smoking. She okay. was in New York. Right. Okay. So. Okay. All right. Fair enough. All right. So, uh, hey, guys. I'm on here looking for someone to hang out with. If it turns out more, that's cool. If that's not, that's cool, too. I'm 5'4". Five 5'4". Four, five four. 300 pounds. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah. That's, uh, that's kind of a lot for 5'4". I'm more of a love kind of girl. I like to ride quads, camp, fish, and go shooting. Oh, just... 
<laughs> right up your alley, dude. I'm into. You go shooting. You were shooting before we even hit the record button. You love to shoot, so yeah. that's right up your alley. Yeah, I just, um, yeah, she can be a goof at times, dude. So oh, man. You like Goofy. I do like Goofy. You like that's Goofy. That's true. Oh, uh, she has a son. Hope that doesn't bother you. <laughs> no. Uh, oh, and by the way, um, this is important here now. No bullshit drama. Please reply with pics and tell me about you. So a bit about you. Okay. you gotta you gotta take out the bullshit drama okay. and let's reveal and there you go. She's got a pretty face. She, not bad. Yep, there she is. She likes hats and shoes apparently. And let's see what we got here. Hopefully, I don't have to censor this. Boom! <laughs> there you have it. Oh, no bullshit drama. No bullshit drama. No. She just wants to be your buddy. And she likes teddy bears. She actually does look like a nice girl. Yeah, except for like the slutty picture. Yeah, she kind of throws it all out of whack. Yeah. It's really yeah, weird. It's like, look, I like teddy bears and hats and shoes. She's and like, cute face. And not wearing underwear. And my dad posting on Craigslist. Oh, uh, look at me being cuddly. That could be you uh, I'm cuddling yep. with. Oh. No, no, mama. Oh. Yeah. Thump. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Was that your date? Okay, that's your date. Okay. All right. So this is the last date you picked for me. I'm yeah. excited. Now, is this the one you're most excited about, this last one? Yeah. Well, I found this in the personals. Okay. Here we go. Now, this is also out of New York. You try to get me out of state. You try to get me the F out I of here. I just think the traveling's fun. I've been in New York. My brother lives there. It's a nice place to live. All right. So the uh, description is a winner already. Uh, you're cursed. Because that's how it starts out. You're cursed. You're cursed. All right. Cool. All right. I like being cursed. All right. Found, it, found it, in the- it keeps getting better. I'm not going to read out loud what it says. I know you should. I think you guys probably see what it says there, though. <laughs> Uh, I'm cursed. You'll never find love. You'll never be happy. You'll never find work. You'll never have good health. You'll be diseased and no man will ever want to touch you. You'll always have a failure and a loser. Machines will not work for you. What? Uh, anything you touch will break. The sun will never shine for you. Candles will never glow. Soap will never cleanse the filth from your body. You will always be, you will always have bad service. Your food will always taste bad. Ouch. you I hate that. Your pets will not live. Plants will not grow. You are cursed, you fucking C-word, until the day you die. Ouch. Uh, this person has some anger. I'm going to just... Yeah. I, uh, I don't know about this one, Johnny. I think it's somebody you hurt, Chris. I think, I think so. You hurt. I think so. All right. So, so if you're interested... If I'm making the rounds, I might... If you're interested... I mean... My concern here is there's been no... You know that's going to be crazy hot sex, though, right? All right, so... With that dude. Here's what we're going to do. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and reply <laughs> and ask for a date. <laughs> I'm going to ask for a date right please, here on the show. Please do. Please All do. All right. Uh, so I got a restless... Here, I'll show you guys. So a restless one. That sounds like us, right? Yeah. Please oh, wow. Every, please I got to log in. No, I, no I, I didn't do it right. I tried to hear it, too, but I don't... Okay. Lay it. Win. Okay. I don't know what that means. Did you hear? Okay, so now I'm going to reply. Okay. Well, that's, that's going to take game. a while. I'll say I'll reply uh, okay. when we pause. Prefer and if we hear break. back, we'll let you know next episode. Yeah. And I got to send this guy an email. So I'll, I'll, I, got, I got the Craigslist contact info. All right, so let's go see your last date, huh? Okay. All right, so here we go. Your last date. I'm pretty proud of this one. I think, uh, I think it's got a potential that uh, you could find real happiness in your plan B here. Because, you know... Right. You still have, you're not planning to, you know, drop the wife. No. You just want to supplement, no. uh, you know, you're a man with needs. Right. And I think this one's going to really match those needs. Um, in, Hi. In Linwood. And, uh, well, that's not too far from me. No, real near. Uh, straight or by guy only, man mm. for man. John taught me what the M for M means. <laughs> uh, 36 years of age, so not too far out from your age right now. Right, right. Uh, looking for a straight, spelt with an eight. Right. So that's how you know it's legit. Bi or guy. Uh, so kid, you, this guy wants someone who wants women. Check this out. No guys over 45 and no gay guys. All right? If you're bi and lean more <laughs> towards women, that's okay. So, and you don't even lean more towards women. Right, so I yeah. thought that was a perfect fit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So uh, if, uh, if you're not looking to meet this guy, don't even bother replying. Okay. Um, and uh, now what I like is whenever they include a picture. Yeah. So let's go ahead and do the reveal of the picture. Uh, kabang! Right there. <laughs> There's your picture. There's your picture. Uh, this guy, he's not gay. He's not he's looking not, for gay guys. Not, no, no gay guys. <laughs> <laughs> if you're bi, I cannot unsee what has been seen, John. It if is awful. Bi, you have to like the chicks more, right? 
I have to tempt you with this. <laughs> right. Yeah, does this, does this make you want me? Bam! Just saying. All right. Well, so I think we've got some pretty good leads. Yeah. I'm definitely going to hit up that last one you recommended uh-huh. for me. I think this is a pretty good fit for you. You live near this guy. You're in his age range. You are not gay. No. So. I'm straight. Yeah. So. Perfect. So, like, so are we just hanging out or what? <laughs> yeah. Like, so Why are you naked? <laughs> Why are you naked? <laughs> All right. So I think we'll... Do you want to play some Halo? <laughs> Xbox Live in person, right? Now, I think that pretty much uh, will put an end to that. We'll, we'll see how those dates go. Okay. We'll report back in the next episode. Sounds good. Sounds good. Yeah. We might have to do this again if these ones didn't work out. All right. Should we move on? Let's move on. All right, everyone. It is time for Thing versus Other, other Thing! thing! Welcome to Thing versus Other, Other thing. thing. And in this episode, it is worst, most evil, childhood badass villain. childhood villain. Right. Um, I will be doing a villain of extreme importance. John, however, has chosen uh, Murdoch from MacGyver. Right. Uh, you may have heard of him before. Right. My villain, um, truly a nemesis to the entire planet, is Hoggish Greedly from the Captain Planet cartoon series. Right. Um, obviously, everyone out there already knows He's a bad guy. Should we do a little character introduction? Sure. We have a couple of YouTube okay. clips loaded up. Right. Why don't we start with, uh, let's start here with Murdoch. Um, everyone knows Murdoch. He's a bad guy, but we'll just play a little he's, reminder. He's clip. MacGyver's nemesis. He's the Moriarty to MacGyver yeah, Sherlock Holmes. Exactly. And you cooperated so beautifully. She's a man. I love that. He's a killer. He's a killer. It's all Murdoch. Oh. Yeah, he's bad MacGyver. He wants to kill you. His pictures, his calling card. Oh, he's not dead. That's impossible. He's dead. Oh, so, so you'd like to think so. Murdoch's dead. Not quite, MacGyver. <laughs> it's your turn to burn, MacGyver. Right. All right, so okay. there is Murdoch. Um, yeah. Obviously a bad guy, right? Uh huh. Obviously, the worst guy. All right, now let's take a look at um, this is Hoggish Greedly, and uh, he's my bad guy pick for my childhood. Uh-huh. Yawn. Yeah, yeah. The only All right. All so, right. So your guy is narcissistic. So that's, I guess, kind of bad, right? Is that your argument? Uh, well, okay, let's argument, move on. My argument is uh, quite put quite simply, uh, unequivocally. Right. You cannot argue that my bad guy wants to do more harm to the entire planet than your guy. No, he your just, guy just wants to kill MacGyver. Who cares about MacGyver? He's just one guy, albeit an important guy. Right. Albeit an important guy. But my guy, he wants to destroy the entire world. And you know what? What? I constantly am using the world. Okay. I use the world all the time. Right, if he destroyed fine. that world, I would be screwed. You know what, what Murdoch wants to kill? What? Resourcefulness. Resourcefulness, which MacGyver is really? known for. And Murdoch just will not die. He is the... Uh, an incredible actor. Yeah. Uh, I believe even in the show as a villain, he plays an incredible actor. He's There's an, an episode where he plays a thespian I, I, in a wheelchair, sure. I believe. Sure. He gets burned. He's fallen from cliffs, again, like Moriarty, and cliffs keeps coming back. What now? Yeah. I, uh, his calling card line is, uh, every time he dies, is pretty much, MacGyver! And I do like that. I do think yes. that's good. Uh, but here's my argument. Okay. Uh, if, if Let's just say MacGyver has a bad day, okay. and Murdoch d- destroys MacGyver. Right. So? What do you mean so? so Think of all the people Hoggish that Greedly, Dude, if Hoggish effing Greedly was successful and the Captain Planet and the Planet Tears were unable to stop okay. Hoggish Greedly, uh, then something bad would happen in a cartoon. <laughs> same. Same. <laughs> No, no, no. Same. Yours is animated. Oh, come on. Yeah, yours is but animated. But mine is about a concept that is important that goes on forever. Okay, whereas let me ask yours you Yours is about a dude who is a knockoff of an actually other dude who was an actual no, 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 character no, no, no. himself. Okay, okay. All right. So are you telling me as a kid you were scared by Hoggish Greedly? Oh, terrified. Terrified, oh, right. absolutely. Right. If, he's, if Hoggish Greedly can be beaten with heart, 
Nobody cares. What is MacGyver fighting with? Heart. No, well, yes, heart, but that's, that's the that's the hidden message underneath it all. MacGyver has his own powers combined. Yeah. Using using resource using tools around I him. Absolutely, but I'm not here arguing for MacGyver. That's what my point is. It's, we're not arguing MacGyver. We are I'm arguing, arguing someone Murdoch. Who, who will not you could kill Hoggett Greedley. If, if Captain Planet had any real you balls. You could kill Murdoch. No, no, he keeps coming back. He well, always comes I back. I guess you could ask yourself, what's the scarier villain? The one that you could Stamp out like that, or the one that you choose to continue to try to make a good person, but he continues to make the wrong choices. That let me ask you this: is choice, and choice is scary. If if Hoggis Greedley is so bad, what about all the other people who just litter? It's the exact same. Hoggis Greedley is their boss. So like Hoggis, oh, Greedley, he's their boss. Really, he's the kingpin of of, of he's pollution. Like, you know what? Everybody should litter. Kingpin of pollution. He's just a kingpin of bad ideas. No, no, no. that's you it. You know, you know what's a bad idea? What? You know what's a bad idea? Dressing up like a lady and and uh, and trying to uh, pull one over on MacGyver. That's scary, isn't it? No, what the hell, MacGyver? It's, it's a obvious. bad thing to do. We were all in on it. No. We all knew he was the lady. No, you didn't know. He didn't know. You knew. Nobody you knew. knew. No, because it's really a different actress until he takes the thing off. You know what? I'll put it this way: If okay. Hoggish Greedley, this is the win argument right, right here. I got it right here in the bag, everybody. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, turn up the volume. Here it is. If Hoggish Greedley was successful, MacGyver wouldn't even have a planet, and Murdoch wouldn't even have a planet to be on. Ouch! Irrelevant! <laughs> no! I made you irrelevant, sir! If right. my guy won, your guy would not exist. Okay, but your guy is, lives in a world of magical powers and magical rings given by birds, and voiced by Whoopi Goldberg and Louis Armstrong. Your guy lives in a world where duct tape is power. Yeah. Duct tape is magic. Duct tape can be power. Well, you didn't Andy. pick... You All didn't based pick, on science fact, You didn't Chris. pick duct tape, sir. You picked Murdoch. Well, I, that's because I'm picking a villain. Someone who's against duct tape, Chris. I'm just saying, Johnny John, I think you know that the planet... Is all of our responsibility and taking on people like Hoggish Greedley. Murdoch we, has burn scars. Yeah, 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 uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah. I just can't saying. move to a cartoon, Chris. Hoggish Greedley farts Murdoch out. He farts Murdoch out. He's like, oh, hey, Murdoch, guess what I'm doing? Destroying your planet. Hoggish Greedley is a parody of what a real villain would be. But you know what? At the end of the day, you know what Murdoch likes to do after fighting MacGyver? Kill other MacGyvers. <laughs> Go to the beach and chillax. But what no. if Hoggish Greedley ruined his beach? No, he doesn't want to. No, he wants to kidnap people and hurt people. You were making an assumption, sh sir. You were making an <laughs> no, assumption. No, that's just what he does, Chris. You know as well as I know that now that MacGyver is too busy going through Stargates, that uh, Murdoch has not done anything with this. Whereas you know what Hoggish Greedley likes to do afterwards? Host family feud. <laughs> that's what he does. You're doing a little inside joke there that people don't probably oh, get. He's voiced by Louis Armstrong. Yeah, I was going to see if I could find a picture of uh, Louis Armstrong doing, doing the deed because it's, uh, it's powerful. Right. But, uh, you know, I, I got I to gotta say, uh, oh, there we go. Hold on. I found a picture. Uh, ladies and Look gentlemen. Look at the resemblance. How, how insulting is that? To, I know, Louis right? Armstrong. Right. It's, uh, there he is, and there he is. <laughs> God. Yeah, that is pretty bad. Yeah. Um, so, and also, I just got to say, uh, my bad guy is voiced by a cool dude, which is just like a bonus point. It's like a real-world anchoring bonus point. Okay, Ed Asner? Okay, well, he's kind of cool. He's done a few things in the actor that played Murdoch, just a few. Right. So he wasn't consumed by the role, and he was able to move on. He was able he wasn't, to be... It wasn't he was such able, a good role that he, could, he was typecast he was as able, Murdoch... No, sir. The MacGyver Again, killing... Again, an erroneous assumption, because he was able to reconsume himself over and over him because of the class of thespian that he is. We guys look at Hoggish Greenley, <laughs> Creedly, like... If that dude was real, that S would be scary. It would, it would, but in fact, it's a cartoon. But yours isn't real either, come on. But it's voiced by someone much more terrifying, someone you can have nightmares about rather than like a cartoon. Perhaps, but you know what else I have nightmares about? What? Losing the entire planet. Do you? Yeah. I have like, you actually had that nightmare? I like icebergs. I like polar bears. Or have you had maybe a nightmare about some crazy person with a burn face trying to burn you alive with a, in a, with a flamethrower? No. Nope. Or some person who's like, hey, you know, that chick's kind of hot. Take off wig. Guess what? I'm trying to Well, you know you. what? When Hoggish Greedley succeeds and your house is underwater, let's have this conversation again. Great. Yeah. It'll be Waterworld. Great movie. Yeah. <laughs> no, sir. I'll talk about how he did us all a favor. I I'm going to say, I'm going to declare Hoggish Greedley is the worst villain of, child, of our childhood. I'm going to declare. Shredder, Shredder was in the running. Yeah. And so was Krang. They were all in the running. Right. Um, I, I thought about a couple from Superman. But none of them were just hell-bent on destroying the world because it felt good. 
they all had like money motives. Or that wasn't his whole. Deal. I think you're misremembering what his deal is. He just doesn't care. He's just like well, I'm the best. No, his whole thing was it's not important unless it's about me. Okay. He's greedy. So he's not he's actually trying to destroy the world. He just doesn't care about the world. Oh, I think man. there's lots of people oh, like that. Oh, man, come on. Come Whatever. On. Global warming, totally bogus. I don't think that. I don't think that. All right. I Fine, think- you can have Murdoch. <laughs> Only because I want to go get a burger. You can have Murdoch. That's fine because I'm hungry. I'm hungry, too. <laughs> now, whatever. I'm hey, you know what? We ought what? to say next episode, because we were meant to get to it this episode, but I think we probably ran out of time. So hmm. why don't we just get our research in now? Okay. There's been a lot of developments in the uh, vaccine anti and pro debate. Right. And we know a lot of you out there are interested in the vaccine debate. So yeah. we'd love to hear from you before our next episode. We're mm. going to get our research on. We're going to talk about it. Some more. We've talked about it before, but yeah, there's some new, <laughs> new developments. New develop- some new big developments. Yeah. Um, so we definitely got to talk about those on the show because you guys responded big time when we talked about that last yeah. time. So uh, go over to jupitercolony.com and then in the Jupiter Colony there's a joint failure section and you can start up a discussion about your Let thoughts on know. vaccinations. And if you make a good point, we'll probably forget to read it but mean to on the show. We will try no, to. We'll try to we'll, read it. We'll we, re- will. we will read it at least three minutes before we start recording. Absolutely guaranteed to happen. Yeah. And, and maybe in passing when I'm drunk and I'm in the forum, I'll probably yeah. see it. Yeah. yeah. But, you know. Totally want to get involved in that, don't you? Right. I love how he sold that. All right. Well, I think we'll wrap it up there. I'll okay. give it to Murdoch. I'll concede. Oh, gosh. I was so close to conceding. Damn it. <laughs> Sorry. You just, you just quit. Just, just really like probably 15 seconds too early. <laughs> Looks like Every I get this time. one. We'll look at him, though. Burn face. Click, click again on that yeah, picture. Yeah, that is pretty scary. I'll give you that. Okay. I mean, that's a scary face. I wouldn't want to go up against that. Yeah. That is pretty. That is pretty. And pretty his power nasty. is acting too. His evil villain power is acting. Plus, look how smug he is there. Yeah, and yeah. <laughs> right. I and mean, you look. You just know that guy's gonna pull it as soon as he gets a chance. But here's too, Chris. what scares me: is they're they're chillaxing in this picture. Oh. It almost makes me wonder if there's something going on something, we don't know about. Something. Yeah. Look. Something we don't know. Also, like, is MacGyver, MacGyver has a better mullet. Is MacGyver a cutter right here? What's going on here? He that's looks, like that's like wheat or grain or something like oh, that. Oh, it yeah. is. Yeah. Okay. It looked like he looked like he was cutting. <laughs> yeah. All right, everyone. Well, that wraps up this episode of Joint Failures. We'd love to hear what you think, so be sure Please. to let us know. Leave a comment wherever you watch, uh-huh. and uh, be sure to tune in at jupiterbroadcasting.com probably in a couple of weeks for another episode yep. of Joint Failures. Yep, and you can uh, Twitter us, too. Yeah, I'm uh, twitter.com slash Chris Elias. Uh-huh, and I'm your friend John. Your at friend John. Twitter.com. Hey, Johnny. Yep. Another great episode. Thanks. Cheers to you, sir. Thanks. All right, Thanks, everyone. everybody. We'll see you in a couple of weeks. All done.